Yes, guys, we are live and direct. We are here. I've got a glass of champagne to celebrate the day, the moment. Wow, the pendulum has swung. It swung, guys. What a last, what a, what a, what a couple of, what a 24 hours that's been. Seriously, wow. Guys, Man United have done what they needed to do. Rio, how long ago did you know that this was a possibility? Because... You've been so coy in the group chats. Me and you even had a bet, right? That I'm embarrassed to talk about. We'll talk about that later. How long did you know that this is a possibility? Um, probably just about uh, around 24 hours ago, probably just a bit longer than that, maybe 36 hours. Um, but it really obviously started heating up late last night. Um, listen, man. Wow. Like... One thing I have to say, man, is that the Man United hierarchy, when they needed to move, there was no looking back. They, they, they performed, I must say, perfectly at every step, every point. There was no looking over their shoulder. There was no hesitancy about it. You have to understand that when someone like Ronaldo comes on the scene and there's an opportunity for him to come to a football club and, he's, he's, and continue his legacy, continue his history of this football club, if Man United had let that slip through their fingers and him to have gone across the, the city to the other side, you'd have had to have security 24, 7, round the clock at the, at the stadium, let alone the houses of some of the people that were involved in that. So, and, and, and listen, there's been a lot of criticism that has been pointed at different people in the hierarchy at Manchester United over the last, um, whatever, how many period of time it is. In this situation, they have performed perfectly in what they've done. Um, because Ronaldo coming to town, this is the hottest ticket in town at Old Trafford now. There's no hotter ticket around. I don't care where you look in Europe, in the world. The hottest ticket is Old Trafford. That's what Ronaldo brings. The attention on the club, the attention on the other players. I mean, you can't put into words what this is going to do for the dressing room, for the fan base. Um, Mate, well, listen, I know I it's a countdown the days now until he's going to be singing Viva Ronaldo in a Stratford and... I can't wait. Look at Steve, looking like a five-year-old, mate. Can we cheat? Can we cheers? Can we cheers, guys? Yeah. I've just yeah, finished my got, rum, but yeah. I ain't, I, ain't got, I ain't got a bottle still. But William's you know leaving. Do you know what, yeah? Listen, this is, a, this is a great deal, yeah? This is like, this is... A, for Ronaldo to have the opportunity to extend his career for two more years. He's 36, by the way. I got Rio. Yeah. We got nearly 10,000 people watching. If we can get 10,000 likes, can you ring him on air? Yeah, okay. I want to. You need ten thousand likes, though. That's the only way I'm ringing him. There you 10, go. Ten thousand likes. likes, and we will call Ronaldo on air. Listen, you know what? Listen, oh, listen. I debate, he, he might be busy right now because obviously things like medicals are probably going on and whatnot. Yeah, but that's fine. But I think it's important to talk about what the impact of this signing is. By the way, I think if you just look at my social media, the way it's gone crazy, and the way that the media in general has gone today with this news, it's, it tells you what he is. He's bigger than any player. Any sportsman on this planet, bar none. Yeah, it's crazy. We're not, we're not, we're not saying he, we're not saying he's better than everyone. I'm just saying he's up there with the best, if not the best. But he is the biggest, and there's no doubts about that. Mm. Yeah, Rio. How many people are involved in trying to get Ronaldo over? Obviously, you have got Manchester United, the club itself, etc. But who's talking to him? Who's whispering in his ear saying? Listen, you know, is it like a 07, 08 class? You know, you guys all got together. What was it like? Because you'll know more than what we do, of course. Who's talking to him? Well, obviously, his agent will be talking to the club and um, the relevant people. I'm sure Ed Woodward, well, I know Ed Woodward and Matt Judge played big pivotal roles in what happened. Obviously, the Glazer, Joel Glazer would have been involved in signing off a lot of the stuff. Um, I think that's obvious on every single transfer. That's the way it works. It works through the hierarchy. Um, obviously, I, I've, I've spoken to him throughout this situation um, because I think you, uh, the first first thing I think when you deal with the, these situations, you're dealing at these levels. It's about trust. Who you trust? Who's transparent with you? Who who you speak to all the time anyway? But trust is a big part of it. Um, I think once it become Real, I think then obviously someone like Oli would, I'm sure he would have played some part in it in talking to him to 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 solidify 
and to reassure him that he he definitely wanted him as well, which is a given. I'm sure that would have happened. Um, but also, um, the likes of Darren Fletcher would have had some sort of contact um, with Cristiano. Um, Bruno as well. Bruno, Oli said. Yeah, obviously they're teammates, so they speak anyway. That's 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 a given. Um, and I'm sure if it, when this became live, Bruno would have spoke. I'll, I'll, I'll probably speak to Bruno on it at some point. But now, listen, man. Yesterday, I think was a. I probably spoke to Cristiano more than I've spoken to him since he left Man United yesterday. <laughs> um, the last 24 hours uh, on texts or phone calls um, through through the, the evening into the night, my missus just rolled over and said, "I'm going to bed. I can't deal with this talking, talking, talking." But she How was. How many times um, do you think Viva Ronaldo until it shut up? <laughs> <laughs> but you know what? It, it's, it's just to see the the effect um, it has on like your kids. Just the fact that like they see his name come up on your phone. You don't tell them what's going on because it's a private, private details, but the effect that you see it as on your kids who love football, but when they see Ronaldo or whatever, this guy has checked. There's a new demographic of fan that's going to support the club. Now it's bigger than just like him coming and being a success on the pitch. He'll get you 25, 30 goals this season. That's what he does. He, there's, there's nothing to suggest in the last history in the last few years that this guy doesn't score goals. He outscored Lukaku who went for 96 million to Chelsea last year in Serie A. So that tells you the levels he's still playing at. So in terms of quality, in terms of what he brings off the pitch, guys, that is for me, forget everything else, what, what he does here. Yeah. What he can do for Mason Greenwood and Marcus Rashford alone Sancho. is worth bringing and Sancho is worth it's worth him bringing him here because what he can do for just those guys when he leaves that free could be the front free for Man United who have invested time and when Ronaldo comes he's invests time back into them in showing them what a a lister what a, a genuine superstar what a absolute obsessive professional lives and breathes like on a daily basis if those guys don't sit there and their mouth ain't watering to go in every day to be with this guy, to see it and watch it every day, uh, I, I don't know what's wrong, but they will be. I know, I know, I, I know what I know what Jaden's like. I know what Marcus is like. I don't know Mason as well, but I hear he's an absolute sponge, wants to be educated. These kids, man, this is the best opportunity that they could have had for someone like just him coming in the door is enough to break the bank for these three players alone. Did United have to do this? Yes. With the possibility of him going to City? Was it too much of a kick in the bollocks for United and, and everyone's legacy, including your own, if he just goes to City? My wish is, to, I've got to be honest, my wish is to speak to Ed Woodward and to really get to the crooks of how this went down because I know, obviously, I was in, I've been speaking to him. But I think people need to see and hear how he felt about this because Ed Woodward's come in for stick. I've given him stick at times. Um, but I do think that people do need, the fans need to understand what someone like him, what he what he felt when he heard that Ronaldo might go to Manchester City. Because and I think it was that's real, important. wasn't it? The, the yeah, City interest think, yeah. wasn't to wind us up. I, 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 think, I think it's important. It's important for people to hear what that, the, the, the chances of that happen, happening. They need to hear what that made one of the most influential people at the club feel like. I know what it felt like, what he felt like. I know, I, I, I just want to, I want people to see that. Because I guess, man, a lot of, some people get bad press and Ed Woodward has, has had that. But this situation, there's no criticism that can be left at he's in his team's door. Right. Have you heard off Fergie today? Pardon? Have you heard off Sir Alex today? No, yesterday. <laughs> but yeah, I have to, Sir Alex Ferguson, Massive part. Mm. Massive part. Mm. Listen, man. Oh, the gang got back together. Mm. Oh, Chris, Chris, Cristiano Ronaldo and Sir Alex Ferguson have got a bond mm. that very few players get to get have in their career with a manager, with, between player and manager. So there was no way that Cristiano Ronaldo was going to be coming to Man United without speaking to Alex Ferguson. Simple as that. Right. Steve, check the likes first, what we're on. Yeah, seven thousand nine hundred eighty-four, eight thousand and twenty likes up in this place. First of all, we need twenty thousand. We need twenty five. Yeah, <laughs> this guy. Well, this I was is... just thinking, aren't you actually wait, wait, on wait. your phone? Are we going to ring him? It don't That's matter. We'll sort that out. Don't worry. <laughs> Listen, what you spoke about the front three, Rio. You spoke about Sancho, Rashford, uh, Greenwood. 
But behind him, look at him sipping. Behind him, you've got the likes of Pogba and Bruno. In regards to creativity, what are you saying now? Listen, the, what it's about is Oli fitting everyone in. He's got great problems. This is the we. This is what we said at the beginning of the window. There aren't enough bodies in the building to affect this team and make it better. That that when you change the team, the team's weakened. Right now, when you change this team, is it really that weakened? Is it weak? This, this team, you could put three or four different formations and, and bodies in the front front line, and you think oh, they go out and win. Mm. Just to think that Cavani could be the backup. For Ronaldo, do you know what I mean? It's unbelievable. And Cavani, I have to say, what a man. He saw who was coming to town and gave up the number seven shirt, maybe. I don't know. Does he do that or not? <laughs> I, I was going to say, I was going to say, what, you breaking he the news? He was coming to and he'd give up the shirt, maybe. Yeah. No, listen, at the end of the day, you know what the problem might be is that the, the shirts have been registered, maybe, and that might be an issue. Yeah. So he might not be able to be number seven, so we'll see. But I, I have to say that, 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 the team now looks like a team capable of challenging on many fronts. Um, can they win the league? Listen, who knows? But the Man United hierarchy couldn't have done any more in this window to put us in a position to be able to win. Oli now has a team that you can call Oli Gunnar Solskjaer's team. This is wow. the squad you can call Oli Gunnar Solskjaer's squad. There's no way that you can't turn away and look at someone and say, you know what, the previous, no, no, this is Oli's team. He's got what he wanted. They've given him the absolute gift of gifts to add to Varane and Sancho. It's true. Um, so this is a this is a team now that listen they're going to they're going to be in the tunnel and every team's going to be looking at them bar maybe a one or two and be going wow. I hope I can get his shirt. I hope I can get his autograph. I hope I can get a selfie with him. Like before you even think about playing football, it's crazy. But listen, they still got to go out there and produce. This isn't signing Ronaldo doesn't mean you win everything. It gives we're you on a... 10k likes, Rio. Sorry, we're on I said, 10k. I said 20. I said 20. Yeah. <laughs> Listen, we need those subscribers popping as well. They got to press subscribe, man. They got to press subs I want subscribers. Listen, we need we're subscribers. Giving you... Exactly, we need that. Rio, what was his reaction? Obviously, you've been speaking to him all night yesterday. We've been having I'm our private shaking. I'm actually Listen. shaking. That's yeah, I'm shaking as well. All day. This was the... If you saw me last night, I was sat on the stairs in my in my house shaking because i knew what this meant to the football club man what this meant to, for his legacy don't forget this is about his legacy ronaldo's legacy finishing like this this ain't this probably ain't even the end because he's gonna want to play till 40 this is only a two-year deal takes him to 38 and a half he's probably gonna go either extend or go somewhere else to continue to be to 40 but to finish his career be not right near the end with man united wearing that red shirt bro you couldn't write this you couldn't write this. Do you know what I mean? How's he feeling? No, there's there's stuff just that goes on between between like in these situations that just stay private. But like, he's happy, man. I see. I know he's happy. When he puts send pictures, he's happy. Right. Where is he now? They're doing a the medical now. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. So listen, man. How weird is it that they announced this pre-medical and they took months after doing Varane's to announce this? Because Cristiano Ronaldo ain't human. Oh right, yeah, fair play. <laughs> Max. Oh, this feels so. The the last twenty four hours has done a complete one eighty. I think. And the pendulum done within the twenty four hours is insane. The pendulum swung. <sighs> I, I think we still... I wait a minute, wait, wait, wait. Can in... I just say something? Can I just say something? Can we... Can, uh, is there any like, Man City fans in the comments right now? Because they were, they were starting to chat a lot of breeze. They were chatting a lot of breeze the uh, last 24 hours, 36 hours. They thought that he was going to tiptoe over to that side of the, the, the city. No. There's people, they've got... There's a little bit of... The, the, the foundations are different over here. <laughs> he weren't doing that. He was never on the cards. I gotta say, shout out Jolly and Lescott though for for still coming on and doing a video yeah. with us earlier. Jolly and Lescott's a real one. Tonight or Jolly tomorrow, and Lescott's a real one. Great guy, man. Great guy. And he was getting excited. He was looking to come on. He said, "Guys, get me on. Get me on." Because <laughs> he thought that it was happening. I Joel, can't laugh. can we just I say, Joel? Joel, can we just say? Sorry, sorry to stop you there, guys. Joel, 
what 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 did you what what was the bet? All right, I'll oh. be real, people. Wait, 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 everyone, everyone, you gotta let me speak here. I'll be real. Yesterday night, when I'm having chats with Rio, we're talking in the group, and he starts with the United whispers. Immediately, I got aggressive. Get out of here, man. He ain't going nowhere. What are you talking about? I was like, give me a bet. Give me a forfeit. Anything, and I'll do it. And then before he answered, I even said, actually, Rio, if he ends up at Man United, <laughs> I will end up wearing a Man United shirt on Vibe with Five on Monday. <laughs> and then Rio's response was, all right, then, bet. And then I thought, wait, hold on a second. Like, There's been some chat from you the last 24 hours. That's yeah, been annoying. Yeah, yeah. Said, hold on a You've second. And then this morning, right off last this morning hours. I'm talking to like one or two of the group chats and that, and they see your tweet. You know your dot, dot, dot when you put the Leonardo DiCaprio thing over there. And um, I messaged Rio. I thought, hang on a minute. I said, so what? Am I going to have to wear the AIG top? And his response was, I'm going to bring you one. And I thought, oh, you know what, yeah. That was this morning, <laughs> wasn't it? That was when I, I rang him and he fucking pied me. Yeah, did you ring me? I was, I was, yeah, because I was like, "Listen, I don't even know what's going on, man. This is in insane. these situations. I'm not going to give you guys. I can't. I can't divulge and give information out. Like, I'm, that's not like. Obviously, I'm trusted when I'm talking mm -hmm. to certain people, and that trust is a big thing. When it's time, then I'll talk and I'll give you the. I'll give you the gems, but I can't do that before time. It's it's just like it's not in my character to be like that. So you know, that would be an absolute. You know, do you know, yeah, you were so thing. annoying. Like honestly, like even when there were news, there was news outlets saying he's 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 not going to United anymore. He's chosen City. I'll send the, the screenshots to Rio. Like ah, Rio, look, 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 you were wrong, etc. He just said stupidity, and he carried on with his day. I thought, what <laughs> does he know? All he was what doing was one know? word answers. And it wasn't oh. clarifying stuff. It was just making it even harder to understand. But that's the yeah. thing that I, I, I just, I, I can't be part of like being someone that like gives away too much too soon. And, and then that breaks trust, man. And I think this yeah. game, uh, like trust is really important, like in life, in business. So I try, listen, I like a laugh. I like a bit of banter. I love the hype around all this type of stuff. This is what I live for. I love it. I love the pantomime about this type of stuff. And I love being in, involved, but to a point where it goes beyond and breaking trust, I wouldn't do that. Do you know what I mean? But I think, like, guys, man, like, it's, it's the WhatsApp groups are popping off. i got all my mates in other groups going it's, crazy. It's this one here at 12.32. What? Joel, what? Rio, I'm tired. And I just quote, just retweet, fuck off, Rio, you do me, I didn't. <laughs> yeah, it was crazy. We're on 24, 25K likes at the moment. People are saying, call him. Call yeah, him yeah. now. No, no. As soon as I speak to him again, uh, it's, oh, it's going to drop on the station, on the channel. Straight. It's going to drop on the channel. All right, cool. We'll so do if you that. need any other reason to subscribe, there you go. You yeah. have to subscribe. Okay. You know, you guys don't know that we've been we've been killing it here on Vibe with Five. Uh, you know, guys, you know, we, you know, we got in the pipeline. We've got mad names coming in the pipeline. I've Trust been speaking me. the last the last three days. We have got Patrice ever coming. We got like um, who else did I, did I say? I don't want to bake too many names, but we got big names coming, man. RVP, we, we need a chat with RVP to explain yeah. things. Yeah, yeah. RVP People want Vidic like you won't believe. Yeah, and it's not just, it's across the board, all types of players, you know what I mean? Like, we really got it planned out. So yes, if you guys are not Jack paying Walsh, attention. Yeah. Jack Walsh is coming on soon. Yes, we're chatting That'll to Jack. That'll be a good one. Yeah, Jack yeah. Walsh is coming on, man. People yeah. with good stories, it ain't just big names, yeah? It's yeah. storytelling, man. I wanna, we want we want to get behind. Do you know who we want as well? I want, I want Pinnock, man. He's good. Because Pinnock. you know why? Because of his journey. Because Vardy, Pinnock, yeah. they got that. My, my friend was his manager at Dolly Jamlet. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, I want yeah, to understand yeah. that journey, man. Because there's Big a lot of kids in his position. So there's mm -hmm. people like that. You can have someone like an a RVP or uh, a Evra or the Ronaldo or whatever. But the, the, as important are the guys who've made the come up. And people who are still playing. There's people like Johnny Bostock that I want to get talking to as well because he had yeah. like an interesting career when he was, you know, at Palace, Spurs. So we're going to be trying to get all these guys on. But yeah, listen, Rio, <laughs> you look like you are enjoying that, um, that, Joel, that you know champagne. The last, the last 48 hours, there's been that many tweets deleted from United and City fans. Yeah. That Twitter's got physically lighter. Right. Mm -hmm. Like... There has been that city fans would have been deleting tweets all over the place Thursday yeah. night. Do you know what's hitting me up last United night? Them this morning. Do you know, you know what's hitting me up last night? Loads and big shout out to him as well with Fab Fabrizio. 
Yeah, he's trying to get the scoop, in it. Yeah, he was on me last night, man. He ain't texting me much, so much in his life. I'm going to go say, on his stream. Can we say something, though? Are we allowed to say, not say, what could potentially be going on over there? It's a good time. What are we saying, Rio? Yeah, now, now, listen, I, I was talking to him today about it, and we're going to announce it on his, on his stream later. So we'll and announce it. Big news coming. So you need to be subscribed to five... Just Get remember, guys, in. on the transfer window, yeah, Dave, this is the only place you need to be. Like, this is the only because you don't, it's, it's going to be mad. Like, that's all I'm saying. That's the hint that you're going to get. Rio, bare people are watching streams at the moment. I want to bring it back to Cristiano Ronaldo. The influence that Ronaldo has now that he's come back to the club to attract players, not saying that you guys couldn't attract players, but it just adds a sparkle, doesn't it? I mean, what does it mean now that he's come back to United? I think the 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 the, the, the superstar um, focus and will be all over him, all over the club again. I think it's, it, it will be back to what it was like some seven, eight, nine, ten years ago and beyond before that. But the impact that he will have in that dressing room, I don't think you can put a number on what that will do. You can't put the the importance that that has um, for all of the other players. Most importantly, the mindset to win. That's been missing at this club for the last few years, yeah? There aren't many people in that squad who understand and know how to win consistently, which is the key word. There's players that know how to win. Paul Pogba's won. He's won with France and he's won with Juventus before, but at Man United. There are, who, who knows how to win consistently at Man United? Cristiano does. So that mentality that he's bringing in that dressing room, the importance of that, I can't, my face can't screw up enough to tell you how much that's going to mean. And when negotiating with that, that's the type of thinking that I'm sure Ed Woodward and Matt Judge and the guys behind the scenes, they would have been thinking that's, that impact is worth that extra zero. It's worth that number that we're putting on there because of, because of the impact, because of what he can do to um, Harry Maguire, lift your levels. Rafael Varane, who knows how to win as well, I must add. Yes, this is the level that I'll tell you what's needed here. Sancho coming in for big money. Come on, I'm going to drag you up to where I'm at. Come on, this is the levels. Do you know what I mean? Rashford, got to get to new levels again. Greenwood, be a sponge around me. Learn off Cavani. Watch me. That's how he moves. He don't move any other all way. Right, all right, all right, all right. Stop waffling. Let's go. Viva Ronaldo. <laughs> Viva Ronaldo. <laughs> From the wing, Ian I did sing. Viva Ronaldo. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> all, all the other fans are devastated. There's devastation I'm everywhere. Good. I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> I, I'm good. You did not say that with your chest. I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> I ain't been gym today. That's why it looks a little bit flat, but I'm going after this. Listen, fantasy football is about to get mad, though. Yeah. <laughs> Boy. I, I fantasy football. I've got a fantasy football group that's been shagging me, yeah? Listen, it's about to go mad with CR7 in there I'm going to I'm gonna have to take a player or two out to fit him in. Yeah. <laughs> He's worth all the dough, man. He's, He's getting 20, the... minimum. Oh, my God. He's worth all oh, the my dough. God. You know. But, guys, listen. Vibe with Five is back on Monday at 5 p.m. If you guys don't know, that's our flagship show, Vibe with Five, brought to you by Soaking Week. That comes out on Mondays, 5 p.m. Check out our recent episodes. We also were at Old Trafford when they played Leeds, um, and it was flipping brilliant. You know what I mean? So make sure you watch that video as well. Take some time, enjoy our stuff. We've got top interviews that what we've else done. What else you got coming, Joe? What else is coming? We've got something special. Oh, well. man. Oh, we got what well, I can't really say. You said that it's going to be announced on his stream. So I can't Not really. That talk one, about the other one, where I went the, the other day. What that me and you've been talking about? Yeah. This morning. Mm. Man, we've got shows when it comes to ballers and some no, of their no, lives. No, no. Okay. The, the one, the one, the one at the training ground. Oh, listen, we're hitting up different training grounds, man. And I'm talking, see, we've got a lot going on, you know. Different training grounds with some of your legends taking us through. I've seen one this morning, actually. I was asked to like, you know, give an opinion in it and see where we could improve it. Shout out to Tom who edited it. But that one is legendary. Rio hooks up with, I can't even say who. And then he goes and hooks up with someone else and does kick ups. And listen, it is crazy. So if you ain't subscribed, we've gone up by 4,000 subscribers in this stream. If you haven't subscribed, what are you doing? But you got to put on the notifications as well, man. Yeah, man. We ain't playing around here.
Yeah, exactly. We're going to hear the notifications guys. come through. Ping, 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 and share mm. and share and mm. like. We love that. Mm. Hey, Storms you know is... Can I just say something as well, man? The, the comments, yeah? Because I'm going to be all over this tonight. We need loads of comments, man. We need loads of likes. We need loads of interaction. The more interaction we get and the more feedback we get, the better the shows are and the more we'll roll out. So please keep doing it, guys. We are all over this. I am in the comments, like you know. Someone tried to chat some stupid grease the other day in their comment. They had to be had to go in the comments. Clowns, told clowns have to be told. So listen, guys, we're about looking to grow the place, looking to put more stuff on the show, there's more shows on the, uh, the, the, the channel. Stay tuned. There's more coming. This, this, this isn't over, by the way. There's man. more exclusives coming out here. Yeah, man. Uh, you know what? Yeah, I've been named a, a, a general in one of my chats because of you, you know, Rio. <laughs> Stormzy has officially named me a general because Ronaldo has gone to Old Trafford. So right about now, he's got a festival in Reading and he just wanted to say general status has come to man. So, yeah. I need, I need, a, I need a, um, I think Stormzy needs to send me a thank you. And like, I need a personal like, thank <laughs> yeah. you. Because like, the way that, the way that I've had to like, the, what, what, <laughs> bro, he needs to, a, a, a genuine thank you. Like even a gift, send me a gift or something like that. The gift. Right, uh, forget this anyway. You lot are boring me now. And there's cold beers waiting for me in Northern Quarter. If you're in Northern Quarter, come and find me. Because I'll be the loud, fat, drunk one. Sit in a bit. Guys, in a bit. Less. Well done, guys.